Welcome to this panel. Many thanks to Don Sheridan for hosting the panel. Unfortunately I am unable to attend this time but I hope to see you next year. This panel as is the case for so many good ideas came about over a cup of coffee. Academics in the Department of Information Systems and Operations Management were taking a break and the conversation turned to electronic forums. There was a wide consensus that our traditional forums had gone very quiet. There is an eerie feeling when children suddenly go quiet. Any educator or parent immediately worries, what are they up to? And usually goes to investigate. Frequently we find out the diabolical truth. In this case the evolution of social networks has provided a chat and discussion platform which most students are familiar. Therefore it is a small leap that students will use this channel to assist their studies. If used for peer review and useful discussions on academic topics this can be an interesting and very useful tool. Such tools are open all the time on the student's own personal device and are far more accessible than the standard LMS that universities provide. However this does give us a control issue, and whether or not this actually is important is one strand of this debate. Facebook and other social networking tools are prevalent in their usage. The maximum penetration for such tools is the age range of 14 to 25. It appears on inspection that many people of this age are glued to these devices. While some parents may be delighted that they have their telephone lines back, as the student's preferred means of communication is internet-mediated. Students, however, are smart with technology and will use familiar tools for their own purposes, in this instance as a study tool. Here are two screenshots from my own class that indicate sharing and general chatter. There are currently 87 students enrolled on this course. As the parent of a person in this age group, I reflect on the ingenuity of this age range to adapt a piece of technology for different purposes. In this instance learners are using Facebook because they are familiar with its interface and also for a large majority it is constantly open on their personal devices. Since students will use such technology constantly, it makes sense to the learner to employ it as a learning tool. Our observations are that the class representatives will set up a group or a page for a class and all students are advised of the link to join it. Here students feel free to post anything and feel supported by their peers. From personal experience of my own course, all students actually joined the group and participated in it. But there are debates here too. Should the educator be allowed to join the group? Does this stifle class participation? Where the educator is excluded many staff indicate a concern that the content and discussion may contain inaccurate materials which they cannot correct. We understand with current generation Y and above learners that there is a tendency to group think and to be easily convinced that the dominant student is correct when they are not. Does this matter? Is this just what happens around the coffee table in the refectory? Should we be concerned? If the educator is present, is this going to reduce the level of participation in the group? Will students become passive and lurk on the form rather than actively questioning and supporting their peers? Will students feel that the presence of the educator is akin to being watched? Where the educator is excluded from the social network we have noted that the group is more active, very vocal, usually not polite, but they post more questions and solutions that they wish to gain input from their peers. So is this a big deal? Should we as educators be concerned about this rapidly changing environment? Can we assess the possible impact? Should we or can we adapt? This leads me to propose the following questions. How can we support students using social media? What are professional goals for teaching and learning provision and how are these enhanced and defeated by social media? Thank you for listening and I hand you back to Don Sheridan.